Hey there, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Uh, today's bad boys we got here are the IS-2. I've got two of these in 143rd scale. Um, so one is from uh, early, like one's from 1943, and which is that one. And this one's from 1945. Um, the, you know, as you know, these are a Soviet heavy tank used during World War II. And then even seeing service with other countries after World War II as well, and well into the 60s. Some countries even used them until the 90s as well. Um, and apparently North Korea still have uh, some remaining in active service. So what we'll do is we'll get the... Um, We'll move the 1945 one out of the way and we'll get stuck into the 1943 one. So we'll get this out of These are a D. Augustini type one. And we'll get this straight out of the box. And this, these cost me $45. That was with delivery, postage, and everything like that. So as you can see, it's, it's quite, a, quite a hefty sized unit, it's, it's not too small. And the birds, if you can hear them, are pretty impressed with it as well. Um, I, I think it's not not too bad. It doesn't. It's not overly heavy or anything. Uh, and I mean, it was around three thousand eight hundred fifty-four of these actual tanks were made. So, and you know, nice beefy one hundred twenty mil, one hundred twenty-two millimeter cannon here. That was the main armament. And uh, powered by a 12-cylinder diesel, they, they, the Russians tended to run a lot of their vehicles on on diesel, which was actually a pretty good move, even though they they were a pr pretty smoky engine. Um, diesel does just sort of produce a fair bit of smoke, but as you can see, the d the details of it, it's got some really nice detail. I'm hoping we've got a reasonable day outside today. I'm hoping uh, it can show the color coloration really nice. I'm hoping the actual birds can be a little bit quiet today. That'll be really handy. <laughs> but the um, the main body itself is is die cast. The turret feels die cast. Um, we'll just turn it around. Uh, the wheels, I think, are, uh, might be a plastic. It's the, the treads, all the tracks is quite pliable, and the accessories seem to be plastic. Um, and the uh, main armament that that does that is plastic also, but. Um, Hopefully uh, some of this detail can come through and and as, as per usual they are affixed to this base so oh, actually these ones have got a normal screw on there so they will be easy to remove from the base. Um, I did get this from an overseas seller so obviously uh, why that's not in English, uh, that's in the uh, uh, Russian silic or however that's pronounced. So uh, my apologies if I'm saying it correctly to any of my Russian viewers. Um, but. No, it's a, you know, it's, I reckon this is a pretty pretty good rendition of the IS-2. Um, it was a very formidable weapon. Um, it, was a, it was a beast of a machine. Um, getting up there with the, uh, against the uh, German Tigers. All right, we'll put the uh, 1943 version down and let's get stuck into the 1945. Um, so we'll get the breakthrough version and try and get, get this open for you. This one's not on stable, so this is a bit of a bit more of a pain in the ass to get open. There we go, success. And um, yeah, number you know, one forty-third scale diecast. Um, this one's got a little similar to the Zimmermann, um, what the Germans were doing on on theirs. Um, this is a, a, a different shade of green. I actually like this shade of green a lot better. Um, it does. Even though they, these are, they seem to be the same build, like a D. Augustini build, um, this one actually does feel better. It's got the extra um, bit of extra coloration details, and because even on those spots, spots on the other one, they, they didn't have any color there. It was all the one color, pretty basic. Whereas this one, it's 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 it seems it's, the finish seems a lot nicer. It's not so shiny, so it's. Uh, I think it's overall, it's a. It feels like a better build, even though they're probably, they, they are very much identical. Um, even though the tracks are a different colour, um, uh, they are pliable. So the, as the same as the other one, it's exactly the same. Um, the, the main body is die cast. Um, I think, well, maybe the turret is a bit plasticky. Um, um, I mean, they do rotate very easily. So you can position them in any position you want. Um, the accessories obviously are all plastic. Um, you can you can sort of see, tell that. But um, 
overall, I think it's a uh, pretty good presentation of the, um, the, the IS-2. I'll just spin it around. Um, this one is on, it's got, and this one has those funny screws, so, okay. Um, so, they may not be um, the same manufacturers, but they are very similar, like similar sort of stylization and similar build. But uh, if I had to choose, they were both the same price, around the $45 mark, including the delivery to me. I mean, if I had to choose one, I'd choose this one as the more preferable one. It does sort of look more presentable, looks looks a bit, doesn't look so cheap. The other one looks a little bit cheaper, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll grab the other one and we'll put them down together. And you, you make your own sort of choice to what you think. Um, this turret does move as well. Um, so that's, you know, that's both them together. Um, they're both reasonable renditions. Um, yeah, I, you know, look, I, I'd be, you know, happy with either in my collection. I've got obviously both in my collection. Um, they will present, sit well on, on the shelf if I take them off the base. But um, I think they're, you know, not a bad, bad sort of unit. Um, that's sort of, I suppose, missing a little aerial there where that one's got the little stubs. So it does look like it's supposed to have one in there. Um, whether that got left off when it was getting manufactured, I don't know. But other than that, I, I think they're both, I'm not unhappy with them. I think they're both presentable for the um, IS-2. IS if you needed some, uh, if you're in your Russian armour and you want to um, have a bit of a Russian armour collection, these will, these will be perfect to uh, jump in there with your other, other Russian tanks like your KVs and your T-34s and stuff like that. So, But uh, what I'll do is I'll take some, um, some close-ups of these without my sausage fingers in the way, obviously. As per usual, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, check out the video and if you've stayed long enough to watch it, to hear these words. <laughs> and um, if you can spare that little bit of time, give us a like, that'll be really pre appreciated if I can get those words out. And um, also um, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with all things diecast that um, I'm chucking up. Alright guys, well you have a great resty day. Cheers.